Hey, what's up, y'all? Last time I had a Kobe Pro Troll was the Lakers version, and I did a split screen where you could see descriptions of what the Pro Troll and the updates, the modernized updates were. This time I'm just going to do a regular video, and if you'd like to see that other video, then you have to go back and I think I'm going to put it in the link right up here so you can click on it and go to it. But the Kobe Pro Troll comes in this new black Kobe box with the signature at the bottom and the Kobe sheath on the top. And the rest of the box is basic. There's nothing on it other than my greasy fingerprints. So let's get to it. And that's the Kobe 1 Pro Tro, wolf gray and white. Um, the Minneapolis Lakers version. So the retail, suggested retail is 175. Style code is AQ2728001. The size 10 of the Pro Tro is 887-227-227-515 and there's a 16 at the end. Now I don't think these are going to have a stamp because the inside of the boxes are gloss black. So they've been painted basically and coated. So I'm going to pull the shoes out though and get a look at it. The paper is just the white paper. Basically the same kind of paper that's inside of the Air Max 270. It's just a white paper. It's real crinkly so you can hear it as I fold it over. But let me stop, and I'm going to take both shoes out, which is actually kind of hard to do because the tab on the box is in the way. Because I want to look at the bottom of the box and see if there's a stamp or anything on the inside. And there is not a stamp, so the box is empty. Now, remember... On some of these, I've always stated that uh, you have particular models of boxes that aren't used as often, so they don't tend to be stamped, especially on a shoe like the Pro Troll, which it's going to be really hard for someone to bootleg it because it's such an old design that's been updated with this new tech that, you know, you run into a point where some shoes just aren't feasible to try and bootleg, man. But these are extremely nice. I've always been a big fan of the first uh, Kobe shoe. And um, this thing is just a, it's a great basketball shoe. It's much lighter than the uh, previous version. You can see the carbon fiber, but I'm getting ahead of the individual. So let's get our 360 in and let's do this. All right, so there goes our toe. Toe box. Top of the shoe. I'm going to move that up so you can see the Minneapolis on the lace lock section. Well, it's not a lace lock, but on the uh, tab section for the shoestrings to go under, and there's a swoosh at the bottom also. There's a the top. There's the left. There's the right. Definitely probably one of the best shoes, you know, for hooping. Also, it's one of the best looking shoes. I mean, you just don't kick it and walk around in sneakers like this anymore because we're all kind of casual. I mean, even right now, I'm wearing a pair of uh, Prime Knit Stan Smiths. But there goes the medial, there goes the outsole where you can see that carbon fiber at the midfoot, underfoot. There, and then you see the zoom air at the heel. And I think it's zoom, it's zoom all the way through to the forefoot also. I have to look it up and make sure I'm, I'm right about that. There goes your outsole and your heel counter, which that carbon fiber extends all the way around. I think it, that's either a carbon fiber fiber or is it just a braided material that's on the inside? I think it's just a braided material. That's not carbon fiber going around there, so I apologize for that. And you see it says up tempo. Now, let's go individual here and take one of these and take the shoe insert out and go back on the inside and look because there is a graphic on the insole for the Minneapolis version and I think it's the years of championships it's gotta be right there I'm trying to get it so you can see it all the way down I flip it It starts at 19, 13, 22, 44, 42, 17. There's something underneath that one, but I can't. I didn't want to move the size tag. 25, 22. 
yeah, I'd have to do some research and figure that one out just to make sure. But that insole, that's great. All right, let's get this back on the inside. And then on the inside here, you have the Minneapolis. So I'm trying to look for other small style cues that are inside of the shoe. I'm glad I took that out so you can see that part of it. Let's get this back in. And I'm going to take the other one out as well. A little bit longer than usual. It's five minutes on this one. I know some of you guys are only like here for a minute. And you may click ahead, but it's the same thing on both shoes, on the insole, on the inside. And I'm going to wrap that up. That's it. Dope pair of shoes, man. Swoosh, and no signature, no Kobe code, because Kobe wasn't doing the Kobe code at that time. Kobe was just trying to make it up out of Colorado. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Actually, the Colorado shoe was the 2K4, which wasn't the, yeah, peace, y'all. See you later.